Andrew Mills as featured artist for our upcoming show, Midsummer Night's Dream. Andrea, please tell us a little bit more about your involvement in body painting and photography. Well, I started doing photography a long time ago when I was 14, but I started body painting because some of the painters I was working with weren't giving me the coverage I needed. So I started experimenting with paints and painting myself and um, you know, playing around with it. What do you try to explore when you paint someone? What is there a specific like theme you're looking for? Uh, it depends on the person, um, the colors, the designs mm -hmm. of the person, what they had in mind, and then once I meet them, uh, sometimes we have to do something completely different because the personality calls for it. So it's truly like an artistic way of coming up. You want a photo, you get painted, so people come for that. Yeah, it's, it's a way of being art. Instead of just looking at art, you get to be art, you take on the art. So what are we expecting at this upcoming event? It's Fairyland, it's fairy tale. There will be glitter, um, but I won't give too many other details. <laughs>
Um, dub hop, something new that you invented. What is it? Um, dub hop is basically a fusion of drum and bass and, and a heavy 808 and kick. It's like mixing dubstep with hip hop. You know, you take this heavily modulated bass, this womp womp sound, and then you, you put it over top of a kick and a boom tat, and then it's like it gives you the perfect surface and groundwork to lay lyrics over. So um, you can expect to hear this live. Well, what else are we expecting to hear at the upcoming show? Um, I'll be showcasing some of my lyrical exercise within like a lot of my hip hop songs, but I also have a lot of upbeat and dance tunes because I want to make the people dance, but I really want to make them listen as well. What influences you um, when you compose your songs, when you write the lyrics? Um, I, I'm very influenced by what I'm going through at the moment. I'm very influenced by things I see, you know. Um, I'm in school, so I'm very influenced by the things I learn. It's basically a culmination of everything, you know, that I see and feel. And I think that's what creates a vibe of real music, you know, something people can relate to. I want it to be really relatable and I want people to understand me and what I'm going through and so they can know I'm just like them. So I'm very much so influenced by life's experiences. You're um, studying in college, you're studying something that's not music. It's more you're, you're aspiring to be a future politician. How does that align with your music career? Definitely. Um, I think it gives me the perfect avenue to do both because with the ability to make music, you have a chance to reach millions of people quicker than you can reach with a speech. So what I want to do is take my message and embed it within the music. And I feel like once that's done, a greater good will be, you know, done. Like I bring justice to like taking my voice and having an actual purpose and bringing it to people, and they'll truly understand that. It's not just music I'm after, you know, like I have a message, it's like positivity, we're trying to advance, you know, and this is for everyone, it's universal music. Well, there seems that there's a lot of things for you in the future, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Uh, we know that you just um, recorded several new songs yes. that we hope to hear at the upcoming Oh man, event. boy, <laughs> um, 28 unreleased songs, and I swear you'll probably hear about five of them, just because I'm so excited about this new work, so I'm very excited to go through the stage. Well, we're really excited to have you. Thank you so much. We wish you all the best Thank and you. we look forward to seeing you as well as we look forward to seeing everyone August 18th at City's Restaurant Lounge for our second annual Midsummer Night Stream.